Hello students, welcome to this session of uh, video lecturing. In our previous video, we have discussed uh, uh, one discrete plot of distribution that is Poisson distribution. We have discussed the right from the definition and some of the concepts like mean and variance of Poisson distribution and uh, we have considered the examples on Poisson distribution. In this video, now let us concentrate on the first continuous distribution that is called exponential distribution. And again, as we know that every probability function, either it is discrete or continuous, has one probability function. In this case, the variable under consideration is continuous. That's why we have the probability density function for this distribution and the exponential distribution is defined as follows a continuous random variable which has the following pdf namely f of x equals to theta into e raised to minus theta x where theta is greater than zero and x lies between minus infinity and plus infinity is called exponential variate and its distribution is called as exponential distribution once we observe this probability function we observe that it consists of namely one constant that is theta and this theta is called as parameter of the distribution and an exponential variate with the parameter theta is written as e of x theta or we can write it as x follows exponential with parameter theta. Generally we use this notation rather than this notation. And again, once we come across with the parameters, the mean and variance of uh, exponential distribution, suppose we have an exponential variable, and t means the exponential variable x with parameter theta, then its mean is given by one by theta, and the variance is given by one by theta square. And once you take the standard deviation, it is nothing but square root of variance, that is one by theta square equal to one by theta I can say. These are the three things we have to keep in mind. That is, mean of exponential distribution is one by theta, variance is one by theta square, and standard deviation is one by theta. And uh, one more thing that is called cumulative distribution function that generally we denote as CDF. And by the definition, it is defined as fx of t is nothing but probability that the variable x takes all the possible values which are less than or equal to t and since it is a continuous uh, distribution that's why in order to calculate the probabilities you have to go with integration that is integration now and upper limit is fixed for this variable upper limit is fixed as t that is upper limit is t and for any random variable the lower limit is minus infinity fx into dx that is minus infinity to t okay that is uh, the, this minus infinity to t can be split as minus infinity to 0 fx dx plus 0 to t fx dx because the function is available only for the reason 0 onward that is 0 to infinity that's why this minus infinity to t is split as minus infinity to 0 and then 0 to t and uh, for minus infinity to 0 we find no function that's why of x is taken as 0 into dx plus for 0 onwards the function is theta into e raised to minus theta x that's how we can write theta into e raised to minus theta x and when the integrand is 0 the value of the integral is 0 and theta is a constant integration of e raised to minus theta x is e raised to minus theta x divided by minus theta and x varies from 0 to t here once theta get cancels we find minus sign here if we take the upper limit uh, t for x, that we can see raised to minus theta t. And once you take the lower limit for x as 0, that is e raised to 0 seems to be 1. Once you multiply the minus sign, it results in 1 minus t e raised to minus theta. That will be the cumulative distribution function or uh, simply we can call it as distribution function for exponential distribution. And now one thing uh, you have to keep in mind that in order to evaluate certain probabilities for a discrete distribution, we are going to use the summation. And in order to calculate the probabilities with respect to continuous random variable, we have to use the 
integration. That is a major difference between discrete and continuous. When we from a discrete to continuous, summation is going to be termed to be integration. Now let us uh, look for some examples on uh, exponential distribution. First one, uh, it is like this. For an exponential variate x with param sorry with mean phi, evaluate the following. That is the p of that x lies between zero and one. Probability that minus infinity is less than x is less than ten. And the third one is probability that x is less than zero or x is greater than or equal to zero. And uh, they have given x is an exponential variate with mean phi. That's right. Let us consider one variable x and let us call x follows exponential with parameter theta. Then the probability function of exponential is written as that is theta into e raised to minus theta x where x lies between 0 to infinity. And uh, we are told earlier also for any distribution to write the probability mass function or density function completely knowing of the parameter is must. In this case, theta is the parameter with the given information. First, let us concentrate to find the value of that parameter theta. In this case, they have given that mean equal to 5. That is mean and the mean of the exponential is 1 by theta. Therefore, they have given mean equal to 1 by theta equal to 5. And once you solve this expression for theta, we can write it as theta equal to 1 by 5. That is 0 0.2 we get. Now, using this value of theta as 0 0.2, let us write the exponential probability function that is f of x equals to theta that is 0.2 t raised to minus 0.2 x and x lies between minus infinity to plus that, that this will be the probability function now using this probability function we can go and calculate various requirements let us go for the first one that x lies between 0 and 1 that is probability that the variable x lies between 0 and 1 and since it is a continuous variable, we have to use the integration. And it is, a, it is already given the lower limit is 0 and the upper limit is 1 for this variable. That's why integration from 0 to 1 f of x into dx. And this 0 to 1 comes under this range. That's why let us take the function as 1, 2 into e raised to minus 0 0.2x. It has to be integrated with respect to x. 0 0.2 is a constant held as it is. Integration of e raised to minus 0.2x is e raised to minus 0.2x divided by minus 0 0.2. 0 0.2 will get cancels and you have to take the limit for x from 0 to 1. That is this minus sign. We can take it here. Once you take the upper limit, it becomes e raised to minus 0 0.2. And once you take the lower limit, that is e raised to 0 is 1. <coughs> once you multiply the negative sign, this becomes 1 minus e raised to minus 0.2. And if you calculate using the calculator, its value seems to be 0 0.1813. This is the probability that the variable x lies between 0 and 1. Now let us go to the second one, that uh, probability that minus infinity is less than x is less than 10. Again, it is a continuous variable. We have to go with integration. Lower limit is minus infinity and upper limit is 10. And it should be carefully we have to note that the range of the variable lies between 0 to infinity. But here we are having the range is now minus infinity to 10. That's why, first of all, we have to split this minus infinity to 10 as minus infinity to 0 fx dx plus 0 to 10 fx dx. For minus infinity to 0, means for below 0 case, we have no function. That's why we can take its value as 0. And for uh, 10, 0 to 10, that comes under this category, this range. That's why the function is, that is uh, 0.2 to d raised to minus 0.2x with respect to x. Once you integrate this, and if you take the limit, it results as 1 minus e raised to minus 2. If you compute the value directly, we'll get it as 0.8647. But if you integrate this one directly by taking f of x equal to this function, that is a total wrong thing because it should be noted that function is available only for the range 0 to infinity. But here, the negative range is also included. That's why we have to exclude that. Only have to consider the positive range of the 
function. That's why do it integrate directly from minus infinity to 10. First you split this one as minus infinity to 0, 0 to 10. Then you take the respective function, then we can integrate it. Now let us go for the third one that property that x is less than 0 or x is greater than or equal to 0. As or means that becomes plus, therefore again it is a continuous the integration sign and here it is decided that x should be less than 0 means this 0 will act as the upper limit and for any variable lower limit is 0 and x is greater than or equal to 0 means this 0 will act as uh, lower limit for the second integral up to again any for any variable the upper limit is infinity and for negative reason there is no function we can take it 0 for positive reason that is a 0 onwards the function is 0.2 into e raised to minus 0.2x if you take that one and uh, if you integrate since the integral is 0 the value of the integral is 0 by keeping this 0.2 as a constant outside and if you integrate that results as minus that is if you take the upper limit it is 0 if you take the lower limit it is 1 minus of 1 minus becomes plus 1 that means probability that x is less than 0 or x is greater than 0 greater than equal to 0 its value is going to be 1 that will be the example what we can discuss okay now let us go to the second example and uh, the example seems to be like this in a certain term the duration of a shower is exponentially distributed with the mean phi what is the probability that shower will last 10 minutes more and the second one is less than 10 minutes and once you look at the statements of the problem first thing we come to know that the information is regarding duration of a shower and the requirement is also regarding the duration of a shower or time lost by the shower that's why right. let us define the variable x as duration of the shower in minutes or the time lost by the shower in minutes and they have given that the duration of a shower follows exponential distribution with the mean equals to 5 as we know first of all we have to get the parameter theta that's why we know that mean of the exponential distribution is 1 by theta and in this case they have given it as 5 therefore once you solve this one for 5 again we get it as 0.2 and once you know the parameter, we can write the exponential property function like this. That is f of x equal to theta into e raised to minus theta x. That is theta is 0.2 e raised to minus 0.2 into x. And the range of the exponential distribution is 0 to infinity. And the first requirement is the shower will last 10 minutes more. Means that variable x should be greater than 10. Because you have defined x as time last by the shower and that time should be more than 10 minutes more means x should be greater than 10. That is uh, again it is a continuous to use the integration when x is greater than 10 this 10 will act as a lower limit and for any random variable the upper limit is infinity f of x into dx and 10 onwards means it comes under uh, positive region that's why the function is like this if you take the function like this and if we integrate this we are going to get that one as e raised to minus 2 and its value is 0.1353 the second one is the shower will last less than 10 minutes that means the variable x should be less than 10 and uh, anyhow we know the probability that x is greater than 10 okay uh, the is uh, less than 10 and in the second case uh, we want sorry I think uh, there will be something uh, uh, wrong here. Actually, we have to write it as one second. More than 10 minutes, you already obtained. Okay, the second case we want the shower will last uh, less than 10 minutes. That means in this case, this uh, uh, x should be less than 10. Okay, that means uh, anyhow, we know the property of x is greater than 10 using the complement law this one can be written like this and this is 1 minus and property of x is greater than 10 is 0 0.1353 and once you take the difference we can get like this that is using the complement law we can write it suppose if you want to proceed directly to find 
probability that the shower will last less than 10 minutes means probability of x is less than 10 minutes then this 10 will act as upper limit for the variable that we have written 10 here and for any random variable the lower limit is minus infinity okay then this can be as we know the function is available only for the positive reason that's why in order to discard the negative region that's why let us split as minus infinity to 0 fx dx plus 0 to 10 fx dx then this uh, minus infinity to 0 for negative reason there is no function we can take it as 0 to dx plus that is 0 to 10 that is fx dx for 0 to 10 means for positive region the function is this and once again if you integrate this this uh, point will get cancelled this minus sign let us take here if you take the upper limit that becomes a raised to minus 2 and once you take the lower limit that becomes 1 1 minus a raised to minus 2 that will be 0 0.8647 that will be the required product that the shower will last less than 10 minutes now there is a uh, another example and the statement uh, of the example goes like this the mean life of TV tubes manufactured by a company is known to have 200 months. Assuming that the lifetime of the lifetime has exponential distribution, find the probability that a TV tubes manufactured by the company is first one less than 200 months, second one between 100 and 300 months. First, once you look at the details of the example we find that the information is regarding lifetime of the tv tubes in terms of months so let us say that variable x has lifetime of tv tubes in months and they are given that lifetime follows exponential distribution with the mean of 200 months that's why let us take given that x follows exponential with mean equal to 200 and again first of all we have to find uh, the parameter theta and they are given mean that mean we know that it is 1 by theta in this case they are given it as 200 once you cross multiply we find theta equal to 200 with this theta equal to 1 by 200 we can write the exponential function as that is theta into e raised to minus theta x means 1 upon 200 into e raised to minus 1 upon 200 x where x lies between minus infinity to sorry uh, zero to infinity now let us come for the first requirement that uh, lifetime of a tube tv tubes is less than 200 months that means lifetime of tv tubes you have taken it as x and that we want less than 200 that means it is uh, x varies from 0 to 200 fx into dx as it is continuous variable instead of summation we have to go with integration and less than 200 means this 200 will act as upper limit and for this particular distribution lower limit is 0 that means 0 to 200 fx dx for 0 onwards this is the function and we have to integrate with respect to x that is 1 by 200 e raised to minus 1 upon 200 x into minus 1 upon 200 this 1 upon 200 will get cancels this minus sign we can write it here once you take the upper limit that is x equal to 200, 200, 200 will get cancelled. So we find e raised to minus 1. Once you take lower limit, e raised to 0 is 1. Once you multiply the minus sign, it becomes 1 minus e raised to minus 1. And the calculation says its final value is 0 0.6322. And this 0 0.6322 is the probability that the lifetime of a tube is less than 200 months. Now, the second one is we want probability that lifetime of a TV tubes lies between 100 and 300 months. And uh, that means we have taken the variable x as lifetime of a TV tubes. That lifetime lies between 100 and 300 months. Again, it is a continuous, it is integration, and we have to take it 100 to 300 fx into dx. That means 100 to 300 means it comes under. Uh, positive region that is 0 to infinity range that's why the function is this if we integrate this this will get cancelled this minus sign as it is okay then once you take x equal to 300 that is 300 divided by 200 is minus 1.55 and once you take 100 it becomes minus 0.5 
And once you multiply the minus sign, that becomes 0 to minus 0.5 minus 0 to minus 1.5. Once you calculate using the calculator, you find x value as 0 0.3834. That means 0 0.3834 represents the probability that the lifetime of a UV tubes lies between 100 and 300 months. That will be the required answer. Now let us go with one more. Now the, it is like this. The length of te telephone conversation is an exponential variable with mean 3 minutes. Find the probability that, first one, a call ends in less than 3 minutes. Second one, a call takes between 3 to 5 minutes. Again, once you look at the given information, the problem highlights that or problem gives an information about the time of the telephone, telephonic conversation. That's why let us say that uh, X has length or duration of a call in minutes. That means information is regarding the duration of a telephonic call. That's why let us take X as length or duration of a telephonic call in terms of minutes. And they are given that telephonic conversation is exponentially distributed with mean 3. Using this information, first let us find the parameter theta. We know that mean of exponential is 1 by theta and accordingly we find theta equal to 1 by 3. By substituting theta equal to 1 by 3 in the exponential quantity function, we find it as 1 by 3 d raised to minus x by 3, where x lies between 0 and infinity. Now come for the requirement. The first requirement is we want the probability that call ends in less than 3 minutes. That means the duration of a call must be less than 3 minutes. That's why in this case we have said x has duration of a telephonic call and the telephonic call duration must be less than 3 minutes. That's why we can write this one as probability of x is less than 3. Means this 3 will act as the upper limit for the variable and for any random variable the lower limit is 0. That means minus infinity 0 f of x plus 0 to 3 fx dx because this function is available for only positive reason. In order to nullify or in order to discard the negative region, we have to split like this. And for uh, less than 0, for negative region, the function is not available. We have taken it as 0 into dx plus 0 to 3 that for positive region, the function is 1 by 3 to raised to minus x by 3. Once you integrate this, this minus 1 by 3 will get cancelled with this one and this minus sign as it is. Once you take the upper limit, 3 by 3 that is minus 1, lower limit e raised to 0 is 1. 1 minus e raised to minus 1 is, that becomes uh, 1 minus e raised to minus 1 after multiplying with the negative sign. If you calculate using the calculator, we find it as 0 0.6321 and this 0 0.6321 represents the probability that the duration of a telephone call ends in less than three minutes. And the uh, second case, we want to calculate the probability that the call takes between three to five minutes. Its meaning is a telephonic call ends in three, between three and five minutes. That means in this case, we want probability that the duration of a call is between 3 and 5 minutes. Since it is continuous variable, that's why it should be go with integration and lower limit also known, upper limit is also known, that means 3 to 5 fx dx, that is 3 to 5 fx is 1 by 3 t raised to minus x by 3 with respect to x, 1 by 3 as it is. If you integrate this, it will become 3 raised to minus x by 3 divided by minus 1 by 3, 1 by 3 will get cancels, that becomes 3 to 5. This minus sign as it is, that is once you take the upper limit, that becomes e raised to minus 5 by 3 minus if you take the lower limit, that becomes e raised to minus 1. After taking the probability of minus 1, this becomes e raised to minus 1 minus e raised to minus 5 by 3. And the calculation of that leads to 0 0.1791. And this 0 0.1791 represents the probability that the duration of a call lies between 3 to 5 minutes. That will be the second requirement.
Now let us go to our, uh, one more last example on this exponential and it is a more different kind. Let us observe that. And the information of the problem is like this. The average daily turnout or means transaction in a medical store is rupees 10,000 and the net profit is 8%. If the transaction follows exponential distribution, find the probability that the profit will exceed rupees 3000 on two consecutive days. Okay, first once you look at the given data, the information is regarding uh, turnout or transaction in a medical store. That's why let us take our variable x as daily turnout or daily transaction in a medical store in rupees. And they have given that that the transaction follows exponential distribution with mean or average turnout is rupees 10,000. This means mean is nothing but 1 by theta. In this case, that is 10,000. That's why theta seems to be 1 by 10,000. And using this theta, the parameter value, we can write the exponential quality function as f of x equal to theta into e raised to minus theta x. That is 1 upon 10,000 into e raised to minus x by 10,000 where x lies between 0 to infinity. That is the range of exponential distribution. Now let us consider actually they want the profit should exceed rupees 3000 rupees on two consecutive days. Okay, first let us consider the probability that the profit exceeds rupees 3000 on any general day, on any day. And see here, in this case, we cannot take directly that x is greater than 3000 because you have defined x as daily turnout. You have not defined it as daily profit. But here, they want the profit is exceeding rupees 3000. That's why don't commit a mistake by taking probability of x is greater than 3000. Please keep in mind that in this case, x is turnout, not a profit. And now then the question is how we can calculate this. And one simple approach to calculate this is convert the profit in terms of turnout because the given information is regarding turnout because they have said that turnout follows exponential. That's why first let us convert this profit in terms of turnout. And that can be done using one more given information. They have said that there is a net profit of 8%. Now using that information, we can convert profit in terms of turnout as follows. And see here, I'll prepare some small calculation at the side here like this. In order to get a profit of 8 rupees, there should be a turnout of 100 rupees. Now, in all, this is a given information. In order to get a profit of 3000 rupees, let us know what is a turnout because now I want to convert profit in terms of turnout. That's why in order to get a profit of rupees 3000, let us know what is a turnout. Using simple calculation, turnout equal to this into this divided by this. That is 3000 into 100 divided by 8. That one equal to 37,500. Now let us take this one for our consideration. Now, saying profit exceeds rupees 3000 is as good as saying turnout exceeds 37,500 because in order to get a profit of 3000 there should be a transaction of 37,500 that's why saying profit exceeds 3000 is saying as good as turnout exceeds rupees 37,500 but turnout you have taken x that's why it will be x is greater than 37,500 and it is continuous distribution. Let us take the integration and when x is greater than 37,500 then that 37,500 they act as lower limit. Okay, and upper limit for the variable is infinity fx into dx and that one equal to integration of 37,500 to infinity and the function is here. Take it out and if you integrate this this one upon 10,000 will get cancelled. This minus sign be kept here. If you take the upper limit, that becomes zero. If you take the lower li the limit, that becomes e raised to minus 3.75. Minus of minus becomes plus. 
and this e raised to minus 3.75 represents the probability that the profit exceeds rupees 3000 on any day but we want the probability that the profit exceeds rupees 3000 on four consecutive days in order to get that let us define the two events like this and uh, let us say that a1 and a2 represents the events that the profit will exceed rupees 3000 on any day and the next day as well in this case we want probability of a1 intersection a2 means probability that consecutive means on any day and the next day as well that together represents the two consecutive days that's why in this case we want probability of a1 intersection a2 that means probability that the profit exceeds rupees 3000 on any day and the next day as well together we can conclude that the profit exceeds rupees uh, 3000 on two consecutive days and uh, the general uh, tendency we observe that the profit of any day is independent of profit of any other day that's why whenever the events are independent probability of a1 intersection a2 can be written as p of a1 into p of a2 depending or uh, using the basic concepts of uh, independent events what we have discussed in basic property theory because of a1 and a2 are independent now p of a1 is probability that the profit exceeds rupees 3000 on any day and uh, we obtain that one for a general day like this and it is same for any uh, generally randomly selected day so it will be e raised to minus 3.75 and this also be e raised to minus 3.75 and the base is same at the powers it becomes e raised to minus 7.5 and the value seems to be 0 0.0055 this will represents the probability that the profit exceeds rupees uh, 3000 on two consecutive days and we have to note the speciality of this problem is that the information is given for transaction and the question is regarding profit that's why one simple way of uh, converting the requirement in terms of known that profit should be converted in terms of transaction in order to use the given information because of that we have converted that profit uh, aspect in terms of turnout aspect that 8% profit means in order to get a profit of 8% there should be a transaction of 100 rupees in order to get a profit of rupees 3000 there should be a tra transaction of 37,500 because of this this problem is somewhat different as compared to the problems what we have solved in the previous cases this is all about uh, exponential distribution and uh, basic concepts of exponential distribution and that of some of the examples of exponential distribution and uh, we, in our next video we have to concentrate on one more continuous random variable which is called as normal distribution and which is more important for all the branch students that we can study in the next week. Thank you.